the user interface is one of the key elements that a client will pick out one system over another since it is the primary uh, source for what they will be touching and using. Uh, they will trust your uh, skills and knowledge of the dimming technology to suit the needs and, and fit within the budget that they've got, but the interface itself is typically the primary decision maker for the clients. Let's talk about the objectives of this section. We're going to go over the low voltage keypad. We'll discuss the purpose of it and the characteristics involving these keypads. And then we'll discuss style and options and ways to set those up. And we'll also discuss the sensor inputs that are available on the back side of the low voltage keypad. Then we'll get into covering um, wiring and connectivity devices that have similar trims or the same trims as the uh, low voltage keypads. And we'll talk about the purpose and the characteristics of those. And then what we'll end up doing is jumping into Design Center. We'll add some keypads and we'll adjust the styles in Design Center and make those assignments to the keypads so that you guys have uh, a working knowledge of how to do that. Then at the end, we'll show you how to do a configuration of the keypads with the Design Center. So first off, let's talk about keypad stations. As I mentioned, it is the private user interface. It replaces traditional light switches, and this is where your customer interacts with the Vantage system from a day-to-day -day basis. So an intelligent design is necessary. Um, part of being intelligent, you know, certain features such as consistency throughout the entire project, having a similar design um, on all of the keypads. So the client knows, hey, this top button does this, this bottom button does this, no matter which room I'm walking into. Um, simplicity and affordance, you know, something that is learned behavior by the client. And if you do multiple different types of programming techniques throughout the house for the client, there can be a lot of confusion and frustration in that. Um, also making sure that we're teaching the client um, and utilizing the power of one button. You know, one button that turns on a scene of lights, one button that is uh, a press and hold and now it turns off the entire house, shuts down the audio system, sets out the thermostats. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do as a programmer and give the clients a lot of features and capability with the system with the power of just one button. So this has lighting, audio, and uh, modal applications. So let's talk about options with the keypads. You've got multiple button styles with backlit versus non-backlit. You also have various shapes um, to match all different types of uh, decor. You also have two color versus multicolor LEDs. And then we also have multiple faceplate and trim styles. Um, multiple colors for those faceplates. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Easy Touch 2. This has a backlit uh, text LED. Uh, the buttons are engraved, the wording is. Um, you have a multiple color LED with the red, green, blue. So by mixing uh, those colors, you can cover all different types of colors uh, for that backlit. It is a decorator style cutout um, and so matches really well with the outlets. It is auto backlight adjustment, which we'll show you when we get into the design center, but this is a, a great feature which allows uh, you to have the keypad not as bright at night when it's perfectly dark in the room and in the house, as opposed to during the middle of the day when uh, there's a lot of ambient light and so the buttons are going to be a lot brighter. This keypad also has a IR receiver built into it as standard, um, and it can have anywhere between one to five buttons. And this style is also available with the scene point dimmer, um, and we'll get into greater detail on that a little later. The next station is an RP touch station. This is also a backlit um, with the RGB, uh, red, green, and blue uh, multicolor LED. Um, it has a rectangular shaped button, as you can see here. It also has the auto backlight adjustment, and it also has the integrated um, IR receiver built into it. And this uh, station, you can have uh, two, four, six, or eight buttons uh, on this keypad. This is one of our premium lines. It, you can also have metal face plates with this. Um, and this is one that is not available with the Seampoint dimmers. 
The standard keypad option is an older option we've had around for a while. The square touch and fine touch are still great buttons. The uh, LED is off to the side, so it is non-backlit engraved. Um, it is two color LEDs. You can either have a red green or a red blue uh, LED. There is no auto backlight uh, settings in the software for this. Um, it does have the ability to have an integrated IR receiver. It would replace the bottom button. So you can get this in uh, any configuration, one, two, three, four, six, or eight buttons. Um, if I did integrate in with the um, IR receiver, then once again, dropping that bottom button would mean I would either have a three plus the receiver or six um, plus the, the receiver in the bottom section. This style is available with the scene point dimmers. We also have another keypad style for more of the uh, European Mediterranean style homes with the Axolute. Uh, it's a non-backlit engraving. It does have a multicolored LED um, and it does not have the auto backlit sensor capable. Um, and it also is missing the ability to have an integrated IR receiver. Um, it comes with six buttons, and since it is a premium uh, line with uh, multiple face paints and colors available, it is not available to be uh, built in with a scene point dimmer. So let's talk about face plate options. First option is a trim line two, square metal edge um, with a metal or plastic face plate insert that clips over the top. The next station would be the soft line. This is uh, no trim, rounded edges, and is available both in metal and plastic. And then the third option would be the Align, which also has no trim. Uh, similar to the soft line, it's a little bit more squared edged um, and th than the soft line is, um, but it still kind of rounds off a little bit. And this is available in metal. So on the back of all of our keypads, low voltage keypads, you have two inputs for sensors, uh, convenient wire topography, which is unique Vantage feature, which means that I can run uh, certain sensors from uh, the sensor itself, for example, like a motion sensor um, or an occupancy sensor or dry contact to the keypad. So I'm making a 10, 15, 20 foot run as opposed to having to do a long home run back to the, the main location for sensors and door contacts. Um, notice it does have a 15 milliamp maximum uh, per keypad. So certain sensors uh, cannot even be used with it. Some third party sensors uh, like outdoor sensors have draw so much current um, the, the 15 milliamps isn't enough. Um, other sensors, which I'll get into in just a minute, some advantages sensors uh, draw such a little amount of current um, that you can actually put two of those sensors on uh, one keypad. Um, there's also the ability to hook up a remote IR receiver on the back of all of these low voltage keypads we've discussed. And um, this is only available on the low voltage keypads, these connector types. This is not available, in other words, on the scene point dimmers. Another option though for making all of these different uh, connections with the door contact and motion sensors, etc., would be the contact input station which we discussed earlier. So let's talk about Vantage's flush mount motion detectors. Um, we've got several available. The EM motion sensor 15 is a 15 milliamp draw uh, sensor and it is a small flush mount 1.6 inch uh, circumference. We also have the EM motion sensor 40, which is a 6.2 milliamp, so I can put two of these on the back of one keypad, and it is a larger four inch flush mounted sensor. We also have two mini sensors, the FL-MS-Mini-360-16 or 33, which um, both of these draw four milliamps, and both are sized at 1 18th of an inch. Um, the description on all of these, the 15, the 40, the 16, and the 33, all describes the range that these motion sensors are designed to cover. So let's talk about wiring and connectivity devices. You can now match below the chair rail 
with uh, certain of our keypads. As you can see here, um, with the Easy Touch 2 and with the Axolute uh, styles, you can do the Trimline 2 decorator plates for your low voltage uh, outlets and also your high voltage uh, electrical outlets. And the same goes with the Axolute, where you can have the European uh, sideways style with the uh, Axolute faceplate uh, below the chair rail and above. So some of your more distinguished clients may really like this.